Hello everyone and greetings from Berat. I arrived here yesterday in the evening and uh, this is my today is my first full day here. It's about uh, 1.30 at the in the afternoon right now and I just finished some work I had to do this morning but yeah now I'm just walking from my hostel I'm staying at the Maya hostel I highly recommend it the atmosphere there is just really good and all the like volunteers working there are super nice and the rooms are clean and everything so no complaints there now I'm walking to the old town which is just like a, a few minutes walk over to the other side and I'm gonna get some lunch I have to take out some more cash and then I think I need to get some toothpaste so that's my plan then it, at 4 starts the wine tour that I am participating in in the hostel is arranging like a wine tour uh, to one of the local wineries close by so I'm going there oh yesterday when I arrived at the hostel I met some like lovely wonderful people already and we together with some volunteers from the hostel we went to uh, the homemade food lily restaurant which if you have read anything about Berat or you've been here you might have heard about it it's quite a legendary place to say the least uh, the owner is so friendly and like so fun don't go here the name is Berat in beef this language is now. Name is beef. Name is beef. This is my beef. Name is beef, but this is pork with cheese inside. Okay. Name is beef. In Albania, everything is possible. I know a little bit, but not heaps. There's not a lot to choose from on the menu, but all the foods food is super good, and it's actually like there's only like five tables in the whole of their restaurant and I think it's like in their home so the owner's wife is making the food in their kitchen and it's just a fun experience it's like so unlike anything I have ever experienced because of the owner who serves the food he's so friendly and so fun oh noisy the weather is really nice when the sun goes down it's a bit it's quite cool actually but now like during the day it's so nice and yeah I think Berat is quite a small town or city but it's so pretty this is like my first time seeing it in full daylight I took the bus here yesterday as I said uh, the bus was about two and a half hours cost 500 lek which is about four euros fifty cents something like that then once I arrived in Berat uh, bus terminal there was this local bus uh, which took me into the city center like really close to the hostel I think that was 30 or 40 lek uh, so just <laughs> like cheap and it was really nice to sleep in a bed because last night um, I slept at the airport it is about 12 in the middle of the night I We'll try to get a few hours of sleep because I have a nine hour layover here in Bergamo airport. Like I survived, but it's not like an enjoyment or anything like that. But hey, I'm here now and so excited to be here. Berat is beautiful. The hostel I'm staying at is fantastic. The like food yesterday was so good. Um, and now I'm getting lunch, so life is good. So if you're ever needing to take out some money in Albania, you should use the credit bank. Just a bit.
It's about moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come here for one tour. Don't, don't bring back yeah. the yeah. 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 <laughs> Hi everyone and I've just finished working for today um, I did a few hours of work at the hostel and now the plan for today is to do to go up to the castle here in Berat and also to explore the old town because yesterday um, in the evening we went to a wine tour to what was it called well, we went to a wine tour with some friends from the hostel which was lovely and we had such a wonderful time at the winery uh, where we were. We got to see like the what, like the vineyard, we got to learn about the different wines they make and also about the different raki they make. Then we had some wine with some lovely views over the hills um, at the winery and then also we did some toasts with the owner, did some dancing with the owner and it was just a very like wonderful and wholesome experience and I started this morning with breakfast of course because the hostel offers free breakfast and then I went with uh, some friends from the hostel to the solidarity shop here in Berat where they sell uh, like jewelry, uh, wines, different kind of like goodies that the locals from Berat and nearby um, produce and make and the like idea with the solidarity shop is that they like get give the money back to the local people who create these products so it's a I think it's a really good in initiative and I also got some earrings from there which yeah these are very nice but yeah I think the plan for now is as I said to go to the castle and explore the old town but I think I want to get lunch at some point as well also if you're ever in uh, Albania and you want to get cash which you will need in Albania you have to go to Credence Bank or I recommend you do that because that's the bank that a lot of people at the hostel recommended me to go to to Credence because that um, bank doesn't take any fees when you like when you withdraw money from your account so that's a good one because at the airport I paid like 700 lek which is like six euros to get money out of the ATM which wasn't really very nice um, but yeah now I know that Credence is the bank to go to when you want to withdraw money uh, free of charge so one of the Oh, the main attractions here in Berat is to go to the Berat castle but also the old town here is beautiful because it's these old like Ottoman style buildings and yeah sorry I'm already out of breath I've just walked a few stairs <laughs> it's very peaceful here
look at these views. Ah, so beautiful. The castle of Berat is actually like, well, it is a castle, <laughs> uh, but people actually still live here. So there are like, um, this is like, I think a fortress, what is it called? But people live here. So in the, like, you can see the houses be behind me. These are residential uh, houses. So people live here in the castle like area, which is quite cool. I think I'm gonna try to find some food now because I'm getting a bit hungry. But if you're ever in Berath, I think the castle is definitely worth visiting. I think the views from there are just stunning. And also it's just very interesting to walk around. Right now I'm here in March of 2023. There are not a lot of people here at all. It was very peaceful, very quiet. So I'm not sure how it's gonna be like, like during high season in the summer, for example. Yeah, definitely give it a visit it doesn't cost anything to go there you can of course buy like a souvenir or food if you want to but other than that it's completely free of charge which we like <laughs> I think traveling really is very eye-opening like in general and also just seeing different cultures seeing how people are living in different places around the world makes me also appreciate more where I come from and like how lucky I am to be living in Finland and to have grown up there um, because yeah doing things like traveling it's not something that should be taken for granted Not everyone has like the money and uh, opportunity to travel like I do for example or in general so I think just something to be grateful for if you are privileged enough to be able to travel to different places and see different cultures so yeah let's just appreciate that for a second just had a great lunch with some salad and some traditional Albanese, Al Albanian <laughs> uh, food uh, and now I'm walking back to the hostel it's about 4 30 or something like that during the rest of this day it's my final day here in Berat so let's see and it's Friday so that's nice But yeah, at least this time of the year, Berat is very beautiful and very peaceful as well. There's not a lot of tourists, apparently, which is quite nice. By the way, that lunch was 700 lek, uh, which is about um, 6 euros, which is not bad. Uh, I've come to notice that Albania is quite affordable and you could even it was it could be even be less than that. I just had like a salad and some it's Vegas, I don't remember the name of the dish, but some another dish and some water. So I don't think that's too bad. I paid about the same yesterday as well. And the food is really good here as well, so Hello everyone, it's another day in Berat. I am just about to leave this city. I just left the hostel, the Maya hostel. Highly recommend it. It was such a lovely experience staying there. But yeah, um, I have my all my stuff with me. And um, now I'm going to try to get to the uh, bus terminal here in Berat. So then I'm gonna catch a bus to Kirakaster and it should leave in a bit less than an hour or so hopefully I'll find my way to the bus terminal on the correct bus but I'm sure I will and yeah it's been so much fun being here and I've had, had such a great experience here in Veras with all the people at my hostel it's always felt like coming home when I have been there and yeah 
and in general like I highly recommend Berat and this city it's been a very nice day so yeah let's try to find the bus terminal now Okay, so I decided to walk from the hostel because I wanted to get some snacks and it was like two kilometers anyway, so it's not too bad. Um, or maybe even three, but it's a nice walk to have because I'm gonna be sitting in the bus for the next three hours to Kirakaster, so it's all right. Okay, I think I found the bus terminal. It's right there. So let's see if I can find the bus to Gira faster. Hi everyone, I have just arrived in Girokaster, so I have left Berat and t taken the bus uh, for tr about 3 hours, it was less than that, I think it was like 2 hours and 15 minutes uh, to the town or city of Girokaster here in Albania and now I will continue exploring this new city so I will end this vlog here and I hope you really enjoyed it the bus ride from Berat to Girakaster, by the way, was 1000 lek, so I think that's like 9 euros, about something like that. Um, so yeah, I will end this vlog over here and I will see you in the next one and that in that vlog I will be exploring Girakaster for 3 days, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!